All right, what's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we're going to be taking out the VRD RTR and today we're just going to go ahead and trail wheel it. So this isn't the review video. I have one of those out if you guys want to go check that out. But we got the truck behind us. We're going to go run my mousetrap trail and maybe a few bonus obstacles along the way. Let's go check it out and see how the truck does. So you might immediately notice that I've changed the wheels and tires on this truck. These are my Spec RC Comp Cut wheels, which help clear the portals. I've also got some 3D tire inserts from SL3D RC. They are called Squid Inserts. And these are made specifically for the Proline 4.75 tires. And these are the Proline 4.75 crawlers. So we're getting into a nasty side hill here. This is the entrance to my trail. And a lot of trucks fail to make it through this side hill. So I'm very curious how the RTR will do. Now, you might be asking, why did I change the wheels and tires? I, I gave it pretty high praise for having dual, uh, dual stage inserts, which comes with the RTR. I still think that's awesome. I like that it came that way. But the tires are very tall. They're like, they are taller than my 4.9 Proline Trepidors. They are a true five inch tire. Ugh. So just for this wheelbase on this truck, which is like 12.6, 12 12.7, um, I just think those tires are too tall. They're more of a buggy size tire in my opinion. I like that the dual stage are in there, but the, the VXT2 is just very tall, especially with that insert installed. So I swapped them out for something a little more appropriate in my opinion. It's very close here. Eh, maybe. Maybe. Nice! I've never seen an RTR make it through there before. Now these wheels are not weighted. The RTR does come with those alloy portal covers. So it has front knuckle weights, but it's not in the wheels and tires. So the overall weight of the truck hasn't changed much. These spec RCs are actually pretty light. And the plastic wheels that come, plastic beadlock wheels, I'll give them credit there, they're beadlocks. Those that come with the truck with the dual stage are probably very similar weight to the combo I've got here. Now I have taken this truck out in disguise a couple times because at this point the truck is not released. I'm making content a little bit before the truck releases. So uh, I had a buddy take this out and drive it and we disguised it with a cliffhanger body and then some aftermarket wheels and tires that are on it right now. And at first glance it just looks like a normal old, you know, Vanquish custom build. So that's been kind of fun. Now, full disclosure, I did have an issue with the truck. So I let my buddy drive it. It was his first time crawling and uh, gave him the RTR because it's one of the few trucks I have its own controller for, this guy. And took it out and he ended up tumbling this truck about 120 feet, uh, probably 50 feet vertically, but it, it started rolling and it just didn't stop rolling just kept going down and down and down. And it was one of those rolls where I I kind of know that something's gonna break on a roll like that. And unfortunately we did have a parts failure. Now it's not Vanquish's fault, it's all me and my buddy. And uh, we bent a lower rear link. So after a huge tumble, all that happened was bent a lower rear link. So pretty good in my book, honestly. I do like the looks and the clearances on this Stance body. Again, this is the Vanquish VRD Stance RTR for their little comp stance guy they have. That's where the name came from. Nice pull there. These crawlers work fantastic out on this rock. These particular tires are very scrubbed in. They have tons of miles on them and they've been swapped around a lot on my trucks. Nice settle there in the suspension. All I did was let off the throttle and it just came right back down. 
I believe these are 90 millimeter shocks on this truck. Enough to get some good articulation, but nothing too crazy long, nothing too short. This is definitely what I would build with 90s on a truck like this. Yeah, that's not an easy line, and this thing didn't even slip a tire, it just drove over it. Stance RTR does perform really well. And with a good amount of overdrive, good amount of steering angle. Well, not exactly where I was trying to go. Not quite enough traction up here where it gets a little more dusty. Flexed out. Push, little motor. Nice. Didn't even touch the slider on that rock. Tons of clearance on this truck. All right, guys. We have made it to the mouse trap main obstacle which is this ugly v-notch canyon super cool but this is a real tester of any really good servo so hopefully we're going to get a good line here because we don't have a ton of servo it's adequate for an rtr but uh, compared to you know something like my reefs it's it leaves some to be desired which is okay most rtrs down the road, you're going to end up upgrading the servo. And like I say, it's it's adequate. It's nothing I'm like complaining about. Oops, We're sitting on two tires right here. Yeah, let's take a reset there. I've been trying to be good about not beating up this body so that I could get a couple of videos out for the release and have it look nice and shiny. But uh, I guess it doesn't matter if I scratch it up during the video, right guys? You guys won't mind. Going like full sidewall through there. The key is to try and get that rear axle level coming through. but I also need to leave room for the front to come up. There we go, there we go. Those front portal covers gave us just enough front bias to actually float the rear end for just a little bit and let that rear get through. Oh, don't give up now, truck. There it is. Little 35 turn Vanquish bro brushed motor. Getting a real test through there. Lots of traction, lots of binding. That will add some stress to that motor and heat it up. Still remaining good and strong. And the ESC still has good feel for the bottom end so I can creep and crawl it. You might notice I'm kind of blipping the throttle on lower power systems like this compared to brushless. This is lower powered. Um, doing that blipping kind of helps move it along rather than try and really finesse crawl the brushed motor. Now keep keep everything in everything I'm saying here, keep in mind I'm just used to running full custom trucks with high-end brushless systems and really strong servos. Oh, our battery popped out, whoops. So, it's not saying this is a bad RTR, it's just, it's different than what I'm used to running. So we gotta fix our battery here. 
Oh, of course, we got Sydney the trail dog with us here. She's checking out the truck. Let's go ahead and go for a bonus line right here. This is in the middle of the canyon. It doesn't really lead anywhere, but it is a challenging climb. So let's see how this RTR can do. I've driven this with a buggy a few times, so drag axle may be a little bit different experience. Rear left's got a good bite. There we go, pop the front up. Now let's try and get a hook on that front left tire. Right rear is kind of falling into the hole as we go up. So let's turn this way and then we'll pivot back around. Hopefully get the front sidewall to hold it in there. That's exactly what happened. And we want to exit left here. Nice technical climb there. Able to get ourselves set up how we wanted. Tons of belly clearance, that angled skid, and the ride height itself, it just has a lot of clearance. This is a steep climb, let's see what happens. Wow, just wow. For an RTR, this is ridiculous, man. Again, I've got different wheels and tires on it, but outside of that, I don't think that the stock wheels and tires would have stopped me from doing any of that. The stock wheels and tires are good, the tires are just tall for my liking. And that's just me. In my opinion, it's actually an advantage to run a big tire. So yeah, that's where the climb goes. But uh, that was a good little bonus climb and it walked right up it. All right, so we are running this truck on 3S. This is a horsepower hill. The only way to get up this is wheel speed. It's the only successful way I've ever gotten up it. I'll show you what happens if you try and crawl it. You'll get your rears up there and then it'll just start spinning right about there. Oh wow, made it a little further than normal. I feel like if I can get my front end pointed a little left. I've never seen anything crawl this. You gotta be ready with the reverse on this hill. So like, it gets close. This might be the least throttle I've ever had to use on this hill. I'm not even half throttle. Wow! Holy cow, man. The lightweight of this rig with this high traction G8 tires scrubbed in, really paying off there. That was impressive. All right, guys, that went surprisingly well. Just got our, worked our way out of mousetrap, cruised through the rest of it, no problem. We're gonna go hit some more lines out here we head back towards the truck. This has always been a fun one. I don't expect it to struggle here, but I've always just kind of driven up the wall and then you pivot around on that right rear. If you can get the right rear high enough, it bites and pulls right up just like that. You can just keep it pinned right and do a full U-turn basically and climb up the hill. There is another line here too that you can try and climb into and then transfer out. Nice, those tires just hang on so well out here. Now from here, work your way straight up. A little binding on a vertical hill. because I'm trying to turn with that sidewall planted into the wall. There it is. This truck likes to settle. The suspension's set up really well on this. Okay, now we got a big vertical climb. And with this angled skid and belly and high clearance links, should be good to go. Gotta get that pinch just right. Keep the front end settled. It's very close. Is it tall enough? Okay, now we're on like the extreme level of vertical. We just need that overdrive to hold us on. Oh, 
Oh dear. It's trying to flex on us. Our front tire's in the air. Can we save it? Good slow speed control. I mean, I can really finesse it with this combo that comes in the truck, which is saying something. Come on, truck. Uh, keeps lifting that tire when I need it to stay planted. All right. Maybe if I played on it for 20 minutes, it might work. But that's right at the limit of that truck, no doubt. All right, guys. So finally, this is going to be our last set of obstacles for this little trail run. This is a trail from BWC Racing that he named Cold Cuts, and this is like the end of the trail. BWC Racing on YouTube, you can be over, go check them out. They do full-size crawling competitions and occasional RC videos. So definitely check them out. So I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments of the VRD RTR. If you're looking for a performance truck, and you don't want to mess around with the kit, you just want to buy one built, this is your answer. I don't think there's any other RTR on the market that comes close to what this truck's doing at the time of its release, you know? Maybe someone else will fire back with an answer and there'll be some major debate later on down the road. But for now, Axial has the 10 Pro kit, but they don't have an RTR at the moment. This obstacle, I've had to bump every time previous. It's steep and off camber. And then you gotta bump it hard enough to get the rear up a ledge. Just like that. And you gotta make a transfer out and get the belly to over a gnarly breakover. You gotta time it just right. Come on. Come on, overdrive. There it is. Turn, truck. There's a little ledge on that front driver. Ah, oh, it rotated on us. You need to get the skid up on the rock before it rotates. We just missed it. Well, guess we're trying that one again. This is a very challenging obstacle, which is why I wanted to try it with this truck. This is pushing limits here for any rig. And the fact it's hanging in there and fighting for it is really cool. Ah, I throttled through a bit and the skid was up and it slipped off. it here <laughs> oh that's so close let's try that again I guess trying to finesse it oh, panicked a little bit didn't didn't think it was gonna hook this is a really good obstacle and until Braxton put it in his video, I didn't even know it was possible. I had played on this before and didn't, I didn't figure it out. So props to Braxton for doing it. There it is, little throttle. Just get that belly up and over. And truthfully, that's not the hardest part of this exit.
Whoa, don't do that, truck. use that sidewall to lock it in but it's hard to recover it without rolling our front rights in the air settle truck yeah it's a little too far passenger on the rears If you roll up there, you fall to the bottom. That's a good line. It was a good line. I've been able to get my VRD carbon kit up this line before at least up to the next final climb. So, trying to see if we can get this guy up. I would really like to just get balanced, just drive straight from there. I don't trust it. tries to unload on us. It just won't hold. Now this is extreme stuff. This is not fault of the truck. This is just what happens when you get on crazy angles. So I guess we can try a slightly alternate line. Go up right. Uh oh. Now it wants to be in the crack and won't let go. Funny how that works. Seems like you can't get it to go one way and you try a different way and then it doesn't want to do the other way either. It just wants to ride the bad line. That's the only place it wants to go. Get the rear high enough to drop the front down in. There it is, got the transfer, bring it across, pretend like we're going to drive up something ridiculous which isn't going to happen, I just want to get in here and get turned around. Okay, we are finally set for this last obstacle. Come on. I never made that way with the VRD carbon kit. The exact same problems happened. No way. Come on. Then the rear is going to fall in and go into the hole. Well, that was a cool save. But unfortunately, truck is not going to exit center, so we got to find ourselves some way out. I don't think that's it. So 
So we're just gonna exit out the right side of this line. There it goes. Stand planted, owning the hard lines, came out of the top at the end of cold cuts and all of our mousetrap trail. Solid release from Vanquish Products. Big fan. If you're looking for an RTR competition level capable truck, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Keep the rubber side.